6th of August, now, 6th of August, 2000, <laughs> Chattel Huyuk, Building 3, Level C, D and C. Go. Okay. So, um, the reason we decided to stop at this level and do all this elaborate filming is that uh, we still have features and floors from the uh, early level, from the late, sorry, here I begin, from the late level, level D, and we have already exposed some uh, floors from level C, which is below D, and we can see in various pits that we have here, uh, levels uh, B and A as well. So uh, we want to film this in order to capture as much as possible of level D features and relationship to C features before we go further down. We still have many floors down to go through and we need to hurry up from this point on and so we might not have as much time to record things as we had mm -hmm. before. So at this point we can still see in the house at least three well-defined areas, actually four well-defined areas and different, uh, there's difference between them. So one of them is the central part of, of the house and then the northern part of the house with features 162 and 173, the platforms, and this platform 170 also belongs to that. And then the southern half of the house, which we call the kitchen, uh, with the platform 169 and 167 and the central part of the kitchen. And then those are three areas, then central, north and south. And in addition to that, we have this whole space 158, which is also um, complicated, but now we can see some relationship between 86 and uh, 158. So uh, we started first defining these phases in the building by different levels and uh, observing the differences between the different sets of floors. These are our levels are basically sets of floors that are well defined and that w differ from each other. So we began first with this uh, burial pit which is feature 617 and in that pit what we could see is that on the midden which is um, under this house we assume uh, we have one set of floors which are defined by uh, a white line at the bottom and a number of gray layers and the wine line on the top. That's, our, uh, that's the beginning of our horizon A. That's a, from A to B, right? B is the top white line. Then we have B is a very thick horizon. It, it has B floor over here and then it has uh, thick packing and very solid B2 floor uh, above this solid packing. And then what's interesting is this horizon of burning, which is basically the packing between B2 and C. There is this horizon of burning on top of which we have the floors that belong to C phase, which are very solid, thick and made of white plaster on this platform and also on other platform in the north of the building. So this was the beginning and then we went to our post retrieval pit which is our feature 602 mm -hmm. and um, looked at the horizons uh, or phases that we can see in that pit and what we saw is again the same situation we have the midden at the bottom and then we have slightly thinner layer A with a nice white floor on top of it and then we have B which is a slightly different packing than over there in the previous pit. And on top of B, we have C, which is again this burnt horizon. We think that this is either a burnt horizon, horizon or packing made of uh, redeposited oven remains that come from some different part of the building. And then uh, on top of this uh, packing, we have again thick floors, which are C floors. And they end here at this line, roughly. And on top of that, we still have remains of D floor. Actually, no, they, I think they end. They I end. Think you just got, I think they end here, haven't they? Okay, so it's there. possible that yeah. C ends here. Right. And from here There's up, we thing. have floors uh, D. Now, the situation in the burial pit features 631. We have a slightly different situation. We have to explain this feature, but we you can do it once. Action. 
Okay, so here in the feature uh, burial pit feature 631, uh, we, we can see some of the floor levels that we have seen in other pits, which is this top C floors, and then we can see the burned horizon that's under it or the burned packing. But then immediately below that we see the um, uh, midden remains, which are lying on top of a, a clay or rather bricky uh, features, the remains of uh, the, the earlier house or something like that. So this pit cannot be uh, entirely uh, phased yet in relation to the other pits, but there are at least these top horizons or phases are present here as well. Yeah, you can do that. Do you want to do that? Do you want me to do the phases and okay. that stuff and you can then talk about the burial? Because I'm going to be tired by the time I'm done. Okay, the phase is over there in the northern part of the building. Uh, and we saw that the platform floor, for instance, on this platform is phase C, and we could see that in the center we are on phase C floors in most parts, except for the bulks up here, and some little remains like this one island, which we don't know exactly which floor level that is, but it's one of the C. Uh, floors. Once we uh, settled that, we decided then to look at the southern part of the building, which is slightly more complicated. And uh, uh, the main source of information for this floor phasing comes from this post retrieval pit, which is the uh, feature um, 614. And in this pit, we have on the on its southern in its southern wall, we have uh, the phasing of the platform that I'm sitting on, but in its uh, northern wall, we have the phasing of all the floors in the central part of the building. And on top of that, we see the relationship of the screen wall to the rest of it. So what we can see here are the same phases A, B, C, C and D, which is on, to on top here. And we can still see the, uh, the higher upper layers that were on this platform that we have removed that also belong to D level. And um, in the northern uh, wall, we can see A, B, C, and D, which is on top, which is this top uh, floor that has been removed in most of, uh, of the central part of the building, but still exists here on this uh, step that, that actually separates the southern from the central part of the building. So since we are here on the D, we can see in this little section that uh, the screen wall is sitting on top of the floor that belongs to the D uh, phase. So the screen wall is either uh, also built in D phase or built slightly later. Actually, it has to be built in the beginning or, or at the end of the D phase. And um, phase? D phase, D as in dog. And... Um, <laughs> And one more uh, interesting thing is that the floors of the platform that I'm sitting on uh, seem to be going into this wall. I can see the continuation of the floor, which, if true, might mean that even this internal wall is built on top of these floors, which would be on top of D phase in the building, which would mean then that this internal wall, which we assumed were originally here from the very beginning of the house, uh, were not, or were replaced, were here originally, and then were cut down and replaced with these walls that were rebuilt in phase D. But this is something that we need to confirm through digging when we start removing the screen wall and looking at the relationship between the internal wall, feature 161, and the floors down here. So. I am basically standing on the floors that are the, the last floors from the phase D in this building. And we can see here already C being visible in some of the cuts on the platform. And we can see that the level D floors that were on top of the platform before went down on its side and then under these features. So this is all D, and this is a floor that was built especially here in the kitchen area as a base on which we have these um, later features. Uh, 
no, earlier features, sorry, cut that. Um, and no, later features, what am I saying? I'm again in, muddle, in the muddle. And OK, these are then. Um, Yes, they are, they are later because they were the top of the platform. This is its edge, and it went like that. We have removed it. Most of it was uh, destroyed, actually, in prehistory. We, because this platform was very, very heavily used and has a lot of little fire installations on it and, and platform makeup cuts and so forth. And so the, the floors that were on top of this platform, which you can still see here in these sections, went all the way up to here. And these are the floors that, the remains of the floors that we have removed. And we are down on the floors that belong to either C or, or they are just the end, or the, the very early D floors, which we, when, once we remove, we come down on this surface, which is most likely C surface. Okay, so the central part of the kitchen is still D level, but in the eastern part of the kitchen, this area, floor area, and uh, including the platform 167, we went further down and we are in the earlier phases, flow phases, and we are not yet sure about how to relate the two. This might be even B phase or something like that. We don't know yet. That remains to be solved l later. And the, the platform itself is also very complicated and problematic. This was most likely the entrance part. It has been replaced many times and rebuilt. We have remains of two possible post holes or holes which were holding the ladder, one of the posts for the ladder. Uh, assuming the other, the other um, ladder side was leaning against the wall. And um, so we have the, f the floors, the nice white floors and the cuts in the floors and all that. This all remains to be uh, s solved a little later. Uh, now, I, if I, I, I would like to go back to the central floors again and say that we have these floors are all C phase, the top ones including this one and that one and that one and they all seem to be at different levels and they are at different levels and that's because we believe that we have several floors in the C phase which can be here, seen here in the cross section and in different parts of this central uh, house floor we are at uh, these different floors actually and um, once we are at the bottom of the C floors we should be even in all the parts of the center. Now, um, a little more about the screen wall. So the screen wall was built in the very late stages of the house, most likely. It was put on top of this platform in this area. And then, as I said, on top of that uh, floor and probably a uh, platform on that side. And um, in, in space 158 behind, on the other side of the screen wall, a lot of activity went on. Uh, we actually we might find the remains of the earlier phase of the screen wall itself because it seems that the screen wall is going deeper down here. So once we remove these later uh, pillars in addition to the screen wall and go deeper down here, we might still uh, find out that it, it had its early stage as well. So the f have we have several floors in 158 um, or we, the latest one can be found in the uh, very north and very south of the building, but in the central part we don't seem to have the very late use of the floor, just early use of the floor. Uh, certainly use of the floor that uh, went through A, B and C phase and then at D phase in this building, this, uh, most of the features here were covered with uh, shoring wall, including the features in the northern part, which are also covered with this shoring new wall that was put up on top of the earlier wall plaster and this feature 170, uh, one that goes all the way to here. So that was probably, these were the features from either C phase or early D phase, and then in late D phase, uh, something happens, the collapse of the wall 
a West Hall happens and they need to uh, shore up the, the screen wall and they stop using the central part of the space, but they continue using the south with a niche in it, feature 607, and north with the bins that were in it. I think I can stop at this and then you can talk about what we found in where. On the platform 173 and under the, the wall, uh, the east wall of, of the building, there is uh, a feature that looked like a cut at the beginning and it might still be a cut but that we, we thought was um, a, a sculpture retrieval or something like that uh, cut. But it might also be something else, which is an oven type of thing. And we can see some traces, possibly traces of burning on these bricks. Uh, if that is the case, that's also highly unusual to have it under the wall. One explanation would be that it is um, an oven that was cut into the wall, which was typical Chatel Huyuk, but this would be highly unusual place for it in the north uh, east corner of the building. Another possibility is that this is a, an oven from an earlier phase from the building that actually on top of which was built another building with these walls that and that building would be the one that we have excavated so far which would then make these white floors and everything below an earlier building underneath the one that we have excavated already. We hope that that's not the case, but there is a slight possibility. <laughs>